Welcome back to My Carolina Today. Get ready to get your laugh on in Raleigh tonight at Good Nights Comedy Club. That's where you'll find Steve Ranazizi, and he's here now with the preview. Yay, Steve! Hello, here. how are you? I'm doing great. So nice to have you here. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure. I also wrote a book as well. Okay. As Kim was just, my book's called, nope, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's, that's all it. there is. It's all three there pages is. long. Nope, that's it. One word for each page. Yeah. Nope, that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you first got your taste of TV stardom with Punked, mm -hmm. right? With Ten years Hunter? ago, yeah. Uh, that was the, my first job in Hollywood was uh, on that show, Punked. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I, I was thrilled because I was acting, but I was the only one that knew I was acting. You know, you had to realize <laughs> nobody else knows you're acting. Right. And they're, they want to kill you most yeah. of the time. So they're not happy with... Uh, you know the the result until Ashton comes out and everyone's sat, you know happy yeah, that he's yeah. there and you're on punked and you know so that's that's the payoff. But up until that point, all you're doing is burning bridges. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite or least favorite punked experience? All of them. Uh, no, I punked Tracy Morgan. <laughs> the first one I ever did was Tracy Morgan. Okay, how'd that go? Great. I mean, one of his friends showed me a gun in the middle, so I, mean, <laughs> I, I was like, okay, well. And then at the end, he was so excited, he took me out to dinner. And then we did karaoke that night. Oh, huh. well, well, yeah, that's how like excited he was that he was on punk, that he was part of the whole thing. Like when you when you get punked, yeah. Not only you're not expecting it, but sometimes you're like, oh, I'm, I'm glad I'm that famous that people thought about me that way. I know. And I think that's how he felt. Oh, cool. Yeah. I love that. Sh loved that show. Yeah, it's great. So these days you're playing the league commissioner on the FX show The League. The League, yes. And I read that you said it's like babysitting seven that's other all it is. children. Yeah, when you have a fa do you don't play fantasy football? No. Uh, not anymore. No, I it's, used to. It's babysitting. When you're in charge of it. Yeah. It's babysitting. That's all you're doing. Yeah. Like last year there was a guy in my league who challenged another guy to a fight while they were both in a pumpkin patch doing like uh, picking pumpkins for their kids and stuff. Hmm. Like so you have to like squash stuff like that mm -hmm. on a Sunday. Take time out of your day mm -hmm. to make sure that other people don't beat each other up in a pumpkin patch. You're married, two children? I am married. I have Two boys, five and two. And like me, you're a slave to the babysitter. Why? Yeah. What? What's her? What, my babysitter her negotiated a raise not too long ago. What? She's like, well, now there's two of them full time, so I was thinking like, you know, fifteen an hour. And I was just like, oh, you weren't already paying fifteen an hour. No, I was not already paying fifteen an hour. <laughs> well, you should have been. What? What is it? <laughs> Don't tell my babysitter you're paying fifteen an hour off Look, the, the top. Back in 2006, I was paying my nanny that. I can't. I why? I mean, I know it's important job. They're your children. I know. What's but more important than your children? I, there's nothing. Nothing. What am I supposed to say? I know. I'm saying, no, nothing. Nothing. But you know. It's very expensive to go to dinner. Because all I'm doing at dinner then is like, well, if I don't get dessert, I can cut another 15 right. off the thing. Right. So it's best to just stay home. Yeah. <laughs> just hang out in your house, you know? People can see you tonight at yes. Good Nights. And it's for the adults. It's, yeah, it's, it's for adult it's people. It's not PG. No. Why would you bring a child to a comedy club? They Absolutely. should be in bed at home. Absolutely. Yeah. With babysitters. <laughs> You got to keep that babysitter money coming in, guys. That's right, Steve. It was so nice to have nice you. Nice to have you as well. You can catch Steve. He has two shows at Good Nights tonight and tomorrow night. Get tickets at goodnightscomedy.com.